How you doing? I'm Kevin O'Hara for HabitsUnplugged.com. Today's question is, does your metabolism slow with age, right? Um, quick answer is yes, it does, but only by a very small, minuscule uh, amount. You know, it's not such a big thing that makes a huge difference in your life. And um, one of the main reasons for this is because as you age, you tend to lose a bit of your muscle mass and gain a bit more fat. You know, if you think about the effectiveness of an exercise routine when you are 25 and compare that to a guy who's 60 uh, look at what they can do you know look at the the effectiveness of that of that that exercise routine on that person you know some of the things that stay that tend to stay the same or to to alter as you age uh, thermogenesis which is your food processing tends to stay generally the same um the older you get the the less you move you know the uh, you either use it or lose it and that tends to be a, a universal thing you know that the older you get the more pains you feel and the less likely you are to move the more difficult it is to to get up in the morning and go out and run or walk or do these things but you can alter that fact and you can you know work around that work your exercise routines around that um, people tend to eat differently uh, you know, you've you've got more money on your hands for a start so you can eat richer foods if you want i mean you know think about the difference between the the diet of a student and the diet of somebody who's earning good money you know it's a uh, completely different you know, people tend to eat a richer diet when they when they get a more money into the pocket it's just a fact of life so the richer your diet the the more um, heavy nutrients you've got to deal with you know the more heavy heavier fats and uh, proteins and carbohydrates you have to deal with so what can you do to at least stabilize or increase your metabolism you know um, one of the things is to increase and maintain stabilize your lean muscle mass you can do this through weights uh, you can do this through um, anaerobic exercise which is Sort of high intensity uh, for short bursts um, one of the things if you're older and you've got a bit more money a bit more disposable income is to get a personal trainer even you know once a month i've got a, a guy now i'm starting with next week um, and he's charging me 20 euros an hour so i can afford to to do that once a week for the first couple of months anyway that's the plan um, and it's because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing you know when I walk into a gym I see a machine I know how to use most of the machines I think most of the machines are, are pretty obvious that you either pull this down or you lift it up or you spread it apart you know so that's an easy part of it the difficult part of it is to know how many times to do this or what weights to put onto it or what sequence to do this in um, and I haven't got a clue what I'm talking about there so I'm going to get a guy who knows what he's talking about and pay him uh, a very reasonable amount of money to, to do it right for me to show me these things and to stand there while I'm doing it and to push me because I have no idea of my limits with this thing I mean I've been into a gym many times in my life I haven't stayed in the gym um, over a long periods of time for many different reasons one because finance you know you you tend to uh, think well you know like I'm spending this money on this and if you haven't got a lot of money you, it's easy to see how you can divert that money away to more important things to you in life you know when you're younger and you're fitter those more important things in life can be sort of like going out on Saturday night for um, a piss up on the town you know when you you know you're not feeling the physical consequences of that so you know for me now uh, going into the gym is is sort of a, it's all about trying to get somebody to push me and to uh, understand my own limits in there you know and we'll see how that goes um, other ways of doing this is to clean up your diet you know uh, try and eliminate as much of the crap as you can the older you get the more sensitive your body becomes to shit food right it's just basically it you know what a young guy who can go into mcdonald's and eat what the fuck he wants 
when he gets older, finds it much, much more difficult to do that without feeling the consequences. Feeling the consequences, right? When you're young, doesn't mean to say that there is no consequences. You know, those consequences are generally underneath it all and are hidden away below your high metabolic rate, your, um, your ability to push past little niggles and all this kind of stuff. But as you get older, you'll find that the sensitivity becomes much more sensitive. You know, so clean up your diet, eliminate as much of the crap as possible and try and think about nutrition first and uh, entertaining your taste buds second. You know, you should be eating good food. I eat a whole foods, plant-based diet 99.9% .9 of the time. Never touch meat, um, dairy products, like I say, in that point zero one percent of the time right um and i tend to stick to that you know most of the time uh, another way of doing this is to eat regularly make sure that you have you're regularly fueling your body and giving your body what it needs to to get through another one is to drink plenty of water hydrating yourself is important especially the older you get you know your your whole body relies on this you know, not just your metabolism uh, but your metabolism especially relies on a good supply of clean water going through your system. Uh, when I'm talking about hydration, I mean water. I don't fucking mix it up with beer or uh, Coca-Cola or any of these shit drinks, you know. Water is the best job. It's the thing that is going to give you the most hydration. Eating a plant-based diet also means that you're taking care of your thyroid a lot better. Thyroid is an important part of your system. Um, so eating a plant-based diet gives you all the nutrients and vitamins that you need, not only for your thyroid, but for the rest of your system. Uh, and finally, get enough uh, rest and exercise. So have that in a good balance, you know. Don't be trying to burn the candle at both ends. If you exercise a lot, you also need to have a lot of rest. So I hope that explains some of that, even though your metabolism is going to decrease a little bit as you get older not by much but there are many factors that can either split it in one direction or the other so until next time i'm kevin o'hara for habitsunplugged.com remember that habit change is gradual right it requires persistence for you to do it the three p's of habit change are persistence positivity and patience take care of yourself good luck bye bye now